Morris here. I'm going to talk a little more about some Eldon Shanwin since I accidentally deleted yesterday's live lesson. Uh, I'm going to go over the tune Ida Red, just quite simply in the key of A, just a one to a quick five chord. Sounds something like this without the fanciness. A. Quickie. A. And just repeat on that forever. So typically what you'll hear bass players doing is something along the lines of kind of that ascent or ascending then descending patterns. So we can take some of those ideas uh, and put it on guitar and that's quite frankly what Eldon Shamblin did with a lot of this stuff. So if we're going to harmonize these notes, um, they're all in this scale of A, right, or the key of A, but we're using different chords for each one. So if we walk up, we just have a normal bar chord on A, and we come up and then we're going to play an A with a C sharp in the bass, then because it's just a really quick chord and it's all in the key, we can use a D, so that's a quick four chord, and then whenever we play a quick four chord, two things can happen after. We can either go to a minor four or a diminished four, or a diminished sharp four, better said. So in this case, because the next note I wanna play is a half step up to D sharp, I wanna play a diminished off of it. So we'll have the diminished, and then we'll come back to this A chord with the E in the bass. So thus far, without any rhythm, we've got leading and all of that. So from there what we can do is keep going up. We're going to use a D with an F sharp in the bass and then here comes the five chord in the song. So we're going to use that E with the G sharp in the bass at the 11th fret and that resolves right into A right at the 12th fret. So from, from the A over E we've got together just pretty slow. A, A with C sharp, D, D sharp diminished, A with E, D with F sharp, E with G sharp, A in the bass. So with rhythm, one, two, three, four, one. Faster, one, two, three, four, one. All right, so that's how that would sound ascending. And as a side note, those kind of rhythmic things I'm doing there, right? That's that'd be nice just to mix it up so it's just not constant. That kind of sound, or so you could have something. Anything like that's fair game for this kind of stuff. Don't do it on every one, but just interject it when you feel like it. So we've got that. Now we're gonna come back down. So we can do A. We'll go A, G, F sharp, F, E, D, C, or B, and A. So we've got a, just a normal chord, an A with G in the bass. So this is kind of a tricky voicing, I think. It's your A triad, but you gotta have G in there. So what I do is rearrange my fingers. So it's pinky on the fourth string, first finger on the third string, uh, third finger on the second string, and then my second finger is covering that. So that is the, the, the right way to do it, and that's a really uh, useful way of playing that chord, and we see that, uh, especially in slower songs, um, you can really milk that. But for this case, another thing that Eldon would commonly do 
And this, I love this, it's a, it's a nice little hack. This is A, let's move it down a whole step to G. And what you have there is with this A chord, you're just harmonizing the flat seven of G with the G chord. It's all the notes, they're all in the same, you know, pool of, pool of notes that are in A, and it works just fine. So now you have something like, So coming down, I've got A, G, and then we'll resolve that G into this D with the F sharp in the bass. So that one we used for ascending. And then instead of using a diminished chord to resolve back to the one coming down this time now, we're gonna use a D minor. So just like your minor chord, right? But we're gonna use an F in the bass. And that resolves into this A with E in the bass. So you have this really melodic bass line going. Right? So all together now, you could go. And then we want to come down. We can play a quick D. We could play A with the C sharp in the bass, or a little walk down going C, B, A, so you could go. Or. Either one of those works just fine. So two ways of doing it maybe. same thing twice. Like that. There you go. So those are two ways of just using some passing chords to get that. Now we can inject a few things here that, you know, give it the more kind of jazz influence, if you will. Um, the first one that I would do, so we're playing A, the C sharp, D, D sharp, A, I'm going to do here, instead of going straight to D, I'm going to play a 2, so that's a B, a 5, I'm sorry, excuse me, <laughs> a 2, a 2 augmented, so that's just taking a 2 and keeping the, the first and third the same, but raising the fifth, so the F sharp becomes G, and then that resolves right into so you could go right so the normal one would be That's how you could quickly get in that. Honestly though, I probably wouldn't play the full chord. I would just probably do a chromatic run because that's a lot at this tempo to grab those two chords back to back that quick. So I might just go. So that might sound like. So something of that nature. So that's, once again, B, B augmented, E. Um, another quick thing we could do to just spice it up a little and change it around is, is mess around with the endings of the phrases. So when we're coming down, so that's what 
I did there, instead of doing the A to the D, I went A with the E, A with the C sharp. So this is just another way of voicing this chord. You got C sharp, the sixth, A on the fourth, E on the third, and then move that down to an E7 with B in the bass, and then an A6. So you could go. Step, half step and whole step lines there, but that is an option and it fits everything harmonically just fine. Something you just kind of sneak in every now and then. So you might. one I would do there. Um, you can also keep all this stuff on two strings rather than one string. So you could go A, C, D, D sharp, then come to this A over E just like a normal A power chord or bar chord, and then quick D, quick E, quick A. And do it all the way down there. So depending on what key you're in, or just the way your guitar sounds, or anything, anything like that, you can kind of choose which one you would want. So I'll have to play that just a few more times, a little slower. Now I'll go to the fourth. Down. One more time. And back down. Seven. And all that is A, drop the A to the flat seven. D, drop the D to your triad. And this is really good triad practice, too, by the way. A with the E in the bass, you do D, some kind of A, or with the F sharp in there if you want, back to the A. So I'm going to play all this a few more times, and then I'll let you mess around with that and see what you can come with, up with. So you might have something like this. fair game for this stuff. Please check out the courses. It goes over things of this nature, um, especially in the, the first course. Section one is all about taking a tune like this, one called Stay All Night, Stay A Little Longer. It's in the key of G and we do precisely this to it. Um, use a lot of quick fours and quick fives to kind of mix up the changes so it's not just one, 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 quick five, back to one kind of thing. Um, and then it just builds on from there. We go through a lot of different standards. We, I believe all of them, the first section, it's stay, all night, stay a little longer and bubbles in my beard. And then we move on to, in the uh, second course, um, San Antonio Rose and Faded Love. And it's just, each thing is kind of a logical buildup. It starts with the foundations of his playing, kind of these chord ideas, ascending, and then the descending ones. And then we talk about adding some of those basic substitutions or imposing chords between chords so that B diminished to the E, things of that nature. And then in the second course, we talk about doing the more uh, note fills. So 
this it kind of works better on uh, slower tunes or tunes that don't have super super quick changes um, but single note fills and single note connecting runs and then in the last one we talk about all of his signature licks which really I, don't, I say all a lot of signature licks um, that he uses that you can hear and those are typically played on slower tunes um, a lot of fun though so check those out. Uh, if you use the coupon code TULSA in all caps, T-U-L-S-A, um, I believe you got about 24 to 48 more hours on that coupon. Use it at checkout and get you a few bucks off the courses and apply to each one. So I hope you enjoyed that.